Today we're looking at a plugin called Texture. This is very quickly becoming one of my favorite color plugins of all time. You can grab it to basically add any kind of spice you want to your sounds. Let me show you. So I have here a track. This is Renoise, by the way. It looks scary to some people. It's just a DAW. And on every track, I've got an instance of Texture. Now it starts off here with a little bit of an intro. When we get to the meat of the track, then we can sort of dive into it. So let me really quick just give you a bit of context, let you hear stuff first. All right, so we have some context here. Let's go ahead and start off up here and let's take a look at our first sound here. So we've got a bass sound, sounds like this. This is without the texture. With it. So essentially what texture is in a nutshell is it's a thing that adds noise slash plays samples based on the input that it's been given. And so for example here I've got some vinyl medium crackle. And if we look at the dynamics, this crackle sound only turns on when the bass plays. And we're getting this lovely extra texture, which for this case, you get a really, really fast, I mean extremely quick vibes doing things like this. Up next we've got a kick. And on this one, let me go ahead and turn it off first. This is with it on. So again, I'm adding some crackle. This one's quite crackle vinyl. And if you want to choose different samples and you can even bring in your own, you've got tons and tons of options. And what I really, I like, it's hard to emphasize how much I like this. They have it so that it eventually turns off when nothing's being played. So I've gotten a lot of plugins in the past that have done similar kinds of things, but they constantly emit the noise, like all the time. It drives me insane. I always end up setting up a gate after to save my insanity because I just can't handle the noise 24-7. And the fact that this is built in is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. This like elevated it very, very quickly let alone all the other stuff. So we've got some, uh, so you can control things via the dynamics. This is usually the page that I'm on. There's also a modulation page, and then we've got some EQs and post. But in reality, for the most of the time, I'm just going through presets. I've got a lot of really good presets. So that's what I use to add to the kick, and this is going to combine with the bass. This, this track, I wanted a very lo-fi, crackly, noisy kind of a feel to it anyways but getting that vibe can sometimes be a bit tricky. Up next, we've got a snare. So I got a little weird with this one. This one's got a guy going, yeah. <laughs> and it is a preset. If you go to the, to the vocal, there's a yeah preset. There's a bunch of weird presets. And there's, there's basically three really important knobs that I look at when I'm in here. The first one's the pitch. If you have a, and we'll take a look at this more in a bit, but when you have a pitch sample, if you want to move that around, you're going to want to need to move this knob. Uh, the next one's the mix. So I think the mix on these are usually 100% wet. So I, I brought it back because I thought it'd be an interesting thing to have layered onto the snare. And then the gain. Those are the three. There's a bunch of others, like there's an attack. The envelope's pretty important too, but I spend most of my time on this page, despite there being so many more options. So when I put this together with the kick, it just it just kind of worked out. So kind of a strange one. Up next, we've got the hi-hat. This one is using, again, 
This one's called eggshells. And while we're on the hi-hat, I think the hi-hat sort of excels at showing this off. So I'm going to load a blank one up, and I've bypassed the first one. So here's the hi-hat all on its own. That's just the hi-hat. And I'm going to go ahead and loop this. And we're going to go ahead and turn this on. So that's white noise. We'll just go through some of these. And if we come in, there's, let's go to some of the other ones. So there's like categories. So dirt is where you're going to get a lot of the crackle kind of stuff. And this is where if something's really long, just adjust the envelope so that you get something shorter if you want it to be uh, more percussive in nature. And if we come in and go to vocal, this is where some of the more strange things live. And then of course we can mix these into taste. So there's a there's just a ton of options in here. So they've got weird ones that are sometimes very inspiring and other times just no way. They've got atmospheres, so we've got spatial here, so we've got some reverbs. Bring the gate down. So on and so forth. So you got a lot of options. Of course, what you're layering it with is gonna play a big impact on this. But I settled on Sort of this weird crunchy sound. This is the sound. So very, very cool. Up next we have the ARP. This one's a bit of a special case. So you probably noticed this bass line. This bass line is entirely texture. And when I added it, because I made this track in a live stream and I got some comments basically saying, whoa, what the heck? And that's what's going on here. So this, without it, that's the bass line. This one's bass smooth. And I believe if you go in the synth category too, there's some stuff that has like constant samples. And here I am automating the pitch envelope. If we go to the automation curves and we look at pitch and we zoom out some, you can see, let's go to a pattern. Let's go to this pattern. You'll hear the pitch change. So that's texture. I said this entirely by ear. Uh, and that's, as soon as I heard it, I knew I was probably gonna have to move this around. You can see it moving. So you may have thought I had a synth in here playing that. Nope, it was texture playing a thing that was already in there. Just a preset doing its thing. And then on these last ones, I can't remember, did I put some, oh, I did put some textures on these. Oh, this is the lead. So here's the lead. This one's got that electrical fault. And so putting all those things together. So that's texture. There is an affiliate link down below if you'd like to pick this up. I'd appreciate it if you use that link. If you just want to experiment with it or try the demo, go ahead. This is one that I just, I really, really, really like this plugin. It's one that's easily found its way into my workflow and even replaced some other plugins that do similar things. I still use other parts of those plugins, but now I can finally just sort of forget about the noise generating parts and just use this which is which has just been nothing but a pleasure it's extremely fast to use it's very simple to use i i love plugins that do stuff like that make my life a little easier and give me the vibe i want right away if you have any questions drop a comment down below subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed
Okay.